everyone. Welcome to our fourth online Kids Friday. It's lovely to see you. This week we'll be carrying on with our series all about what God is like. And last week we saw that God is three persons. We saw that he's one God, but he's three persons. Do send through any crafts that you did last week. I'd love to see what you've been up to. This week we'll be looking at the fact that God is everywhere. And just like last week, we'll be, some, we'll be discussing some questions together. Um, we'll be reading the Bible together and I'll be praying together. There's an opportunity for you to do a craft and you can find that link under the video at the end. The first thing that I'd love to know is this. What are the things in creation that make you go, wow? What amazes you most about the world? Why not chat about those questions, press pause and then press play again when you're ready to start. Even when the world is struggling with a virus like coronavirus, there are still so many things in God's creation in this world that make us go, wow. Psalm 139 verses 9 to 10 says, If I rise with the sun in the east and settle in the west beyond the sea, even there you would guide me. With your right hand you would hold me. God made everything just by speaking. He made every centimetre of the earth. He made every drop of water. He made every metre of sky and every part of space. And because God made it all, God is bigger than it all. God is more amazing than it all. God is able to rule over the whole of creation and he is able to be in every part of creation, everywhere, all at the same time. God made everything just by speaking. He made every centimetre of the earth. He made every drop of water. He made every metre of sky and every part of space. And because God made it all, God is bigger than it all. God is more amazing than it all. God is able to rule over the whole of creation and he is able to be in every part of creation, everywhere, all at the same time. So when you go on a really sunny holiday and need to wear your sun hat, God is there. When you go on, on holiday to somewhere really cold, you need to put your hat on and a scarf, which I don't have. God is there. When it's completely dark and we can't see anything and perhaps we even feel alone or worried, God is there. Now, you might have worked something out. Sometimes when we want to do something wrong, when we want to choose to be naughty, we take ourselves off to be on our own, to be in the dark, where we think we can do anything we want, where we think no one will ever find out what we've done, where we can do the wrong thing secretly. But hiding away in the dark isn't right, is it? You see, God is everywhere. God sees everything. We can't run away from God. We can't keep secrets from God. We can't keep sin in the darkness. But there is good news with Jesus Christ. Jesus is God with us, come to save. Even when we choose to do the wrong thing, Jesus Christ is with us to forgive us when we say sorry. When we're trusting Jesus Christ, we don't ever need to be afraid. We don't ever need to feel God's anger. 
we can know and feel that we are loved and cared for by Jesus. We all sometimes feel alone. We can feel especially alone at a time like this when there's coronavirus everywhere and we can't escape it. And it's hard when we're not seeing our friends from school and from different clubs and sports. We can so often worry about coronavirus and our friends and family getting ill, and that's really hard. But we can so often forget that we are never alone. God is everywhere, and because of Jesus Christ, the God of the universe, the God who created everything, the God who is everywhere, is caring for us. What a wonderful truth. What a wonderful truth. To finish off, there's some questions for you to chat about together. Why not uh, chat about those questions, uh, pause the video and then press play again when you're ready to start. To finish, let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that you are everywhere. Thank you that you are always with us. Thank you that because of Jesus, you care for us. Thank you that we can never hide from you. Please help us to always run to Jesus, especially when we've done something wrong. Please help us to trust in you and know that you are everywhere and that you care for us because Jesus Christ has forgiven us on the cross. Amen. Thank you for watching everyone. Don't forget you can click the video that should appear on the screen in a second uh, for the craft and I hope you have a fantastic week and hopefully see you soon. Bye!